Hello and welcome back to Land of Italy. As you can see, we've got the piglets here all ready to eat and ready to grow. And look how cute with their curly little tails. So cute indeed. They are so small that you can barely see them over the straw. Yes, there are a hundred of them here, little piglets running around. Uh, they've got food, they've got water, uh, but what we're going to do, because it is 8 o'clock and uh, it's not quite the time to go to the shop yet, because it does open at 9, we are going to fetch them a bit more water. Um, by the way, we do have to head to the shop for a couple of things, but the main thing uh, is going to be grape harvesters, because our vineyards are ready to harvest. Well, at least they should be, because it is the last uh, month that they can be ready. So we might as well just drive by them, have a cheeky peek, and see what's what. The corn, I don't think will be ready just yet. I think that will be November. But if we can just sneak on through here, brilliant, and have a look. Got white grapes and they are ready to harvest. Absolutely wonderful. And I reckon if we go over to our red grapes over here, or the regular grapes, they should also be ready to harvest. So, yes, I feel like this tractor is better used in manual transmission. Uh, but I'm not going to faff with switching it back and forth. I just think... And I know what I said before about keeping it. I'm still... Do you see that? See what happened there? I'm still on the fence about that. I appreciate all the feedback and that. But yeah, I just don't know what the best course of action is. Um, really depends on the financial standpoint of everything. Grapes are ready to harvest. Brilliant. And because we did uh, partially fertilize them, they do have a bit of fertilizer to them. So 50% is better than nothing. Which is really great. So... What I think we'll do, now, yeah, there is, so I did this at the very end of the last episode, uh, showing you that we do have a small pond here that we can get water from for the pigs. Now, I think this will, there we go, should be fine there, and filling. It does take quite a while, but in the meantime, we'll have a look at our crops. We do have the white grapes and the red, and then everything else, let's have a look at what's ready. So these are ready to harvest. The corn is not yet. Uh, 13, 14, and 37 have nothing in them, uh, which means that we do have to look at what we're going to put in them. Now, I was thinking of... So I think we'll do sugar beet again. We could do potatoes kind of to switch it up, but we do have the kit for the sugar beets, so that is good. Although I would like to potentially upgrade to a bigger sugar beet harvester. Now, they are quite pricey, but we, we don't have to worry about putting that in till March anyways. But the thing I prefer about doing sugar beets is that we don't need a special planter, whereas potatoes we do. We need a planter, but not a special one, because we also want to do uh, loads of corn for the pigs. Uh, we can do, where is it, sorghum as well, and that requires simply a drill. So we will look into all that as well, but I think I would like to focus on the sugar beets because uh, then maybe we can even do some more with the beets once we cut them even or something like that. We have to look into all that. But in the meantime here, we are going to bring some water to the pigs. Uh, I've also had to think about it, and I don't know if I want to buy the grape harvesters. Now, I would like to, because I would like to continue doing grapes beyond the first harvest, Really need to put that path in here. I think... Oh, see, I thought there'd be one there. That seems more natural, but nope. Here we are. Um, yeah, we'll put one in at some point. But anyways, um, I would like to do the grapes full-time. But it really depends on how it all kind of turns out. How it works out, I should say. So, we'll overload the water there. One thing, though, that I think is pretty cool is uh, here we'll just hop over there a bit quicker the vineyard area here is 1.4 million pounds very very expensive but it includes this big vineyard here and then all of this land for 1.45 million we do not have enough for that that's fine but something that is very interesting if i put on the interactive zones uh we have the option here to sell the grapes or to input them 
So I thought about it and I've also noticed here that there's a management point and there's another one over there. This one is for the winery which we can buy for £200,000 without owning the land which is pretty brilliant. Uh, we've got an output area there so I imagine something can go there and then there's another output area over there. But we've got another area here but if you read it it says full barrels input. So and then here the management point is for the seller for 20,000. So I think that's going to be a good option. Here is empty barrels and there goes full barrels. So in the shop I notice here we can turn these off now. I do prefer playing with them off anyways, but in the shop I notice that we've got pallets of barrels and bottles. So I imagine that we take the empty barrels, we put them in here with the wine, it does its thing, and then it spits them out somewhere. We have an output, an output there and an output there. I'm not sure where they'd go. I imagine over there, but anyways, then we take those barrels and we bring them over to the cellar. Now, this is all speculation, but I imagine that's what that would be for, because in, in a wine cellar you take the barrels, you load up the um, the uh, the wine and all that, as, as you do. So I think that for 220000 we should buy these productions. Now, as far as the harvesters go, this is where it gets a bit more expensive. Oh, nope, wrong ones. So we have Grape Tech. Now, there, this one here, I had... Uh, grapes available for it but it broke it it absolutely broke the mod this mod is specifically made for white grapes on this map this one here is still made for regular grapes as are these two so that being said what I think is gonna oh, also there is the trail behind but it is only available for regular grapes so as much as I'd like the Landini to be a grape harvesting tractor I don't think it's gonna happen because, uh, for this first time at least, maybe I'll buy this in the future if I'm doing grapes full time, if I decide to continue on with them. But I think for now, we are going to lease the harvesters that we need. So this is the only white grape harvester that we have. So obviously this is the one we need to use for our white grapes. And I've decided to use the Oxbow because I've never, one, never used it. I used both of these before. This is the same as this, so I'd much rather use it for the white grapes and then use something different for the red grapes. This one also I did use in a previous series for a, once, I believe, very short time. Same with this, I've only used once as well. But the Oxbow, I, this would be the first bit of kit from the Oxbow pack that I will have used. So yeah, it should be really good. Excited for that. And it is a bit quicker as well. Yeah, that's really nice. So, the shop opens at 9. Let's have a check. Is there anything in the sale? There is not. So, what we're going to do then is make our way to the shop. Oh, right. Before we do crack on, let's head over to the pigs again. Now, in the last episode, I uh, did feed them. Unfortunately... If we try and load our trailer in here, it makes an absolute mess. As you can see, it's very, uh, it's, it's very short. It's not a very tall building whatsoever. There's not much room to essentially to drop a uh, or to, to load a trailer. Now we do have, excuse me, piggies. We do have this here, but the trailer we have, the Bossini, doesn't load into here enough. It's not tall enough. Um, this is more if you're loading in maybe by the bucket. Here, we'll shut this off for now. All set. Nice. They've got water. That should be that should suffice them for now for a while. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Might as well leave the whole setup. Um but this trailer I might keep it for a bit. I don't if we buy another trailer, I don't know if we'll need this, but I did find another trailer in question. Now this is something I said I was going to do, and I found one. So all the way here at the end, it is a mod, of course. None of these worked. I was thinking about this one, like this series. These are the uh, the Grimmer pack, but it can do all different crops. But unfortunately, and see, it would work because it has the conveyor belt. But this here does not fit underneath the uh, in the pigsty. But this one does. So there's a tipper and a non-tipper version. This one, the grain just comes out the side or the back, wherever you choose. But it's nice because it does have a full capacity of 27,420, which is more than we have on the Bossini. The Bossini maxes out at 20 with the upgrade. So I think, 
possibly I'm going to sell the Bossini trailer because I can't see us needing two trailers but in time we will see right we are nearly at nine o'clock we're gonna head down to the shop and pick up our first grape harvester right so here we are in the grape technology shop page and we will go all the way to the end here to the new holland browd 9070 l in the white grape variety now we will start with the white grapes very excited about this let's see can we get our bkt's on no that's fine we will go with the, the Michelins look good. They look quite chunky, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's fine. We are just leasing it. So how much? Oof. Right, so that's about 5%. 12,000, just over 12,000 is approximately 5%. So here's to hoping. Actually, let's have a cheeky check of something very quick before we go, is to see how much does wine sell for. So we've got wine in the barrel oh blimey that's really nice what about bottles oh what well, seems like it's way less but but maybe you get much more out of them uh, oh empty bottles sorry I'm looking at the wrong bloody thing Wow yeah I think we'll do wine right should be good okay let's uh, let's crack on back to that page get the white grapes we will go back here I think um, actually I quite like the Midas the look of the Midas ones right lease it for 12,000 at three four two and there it is what an interesting bit of kit hey eh? very interesting indeed right well let's get in it let's fire it up go into the first person have a nice look at everything it's essentially the same as the uh, as the base game harvester, except that it's for white grapes. So we'll get the beacons on there. You can see the two beacons. Yes, it is quite a machine indeed. We'll head back to the farm over to our white grape vineyard, and we'll start harvesting our grapes. All right, here we are. So might as well get lined up straight away. And uh, without further ado, we can get cracking. So first thing we need to do is unfold it. As you can see, it lifts up. It's quite impressive, this. And uh, we'll get lined up nice with the vines there. We'll start it up, fire it up. And we'll go like this. There we are. We're harvesting white grapes. Very exciting. I have no idea how many grapes we're going to get. Uh, the only thing about this is the fact that the white grapes, there is only the one vineyard currently, but I imagine we could place our own uh, in the future if we really wanted to expand on the grape production. Uh, which, I mean, if we buy the the, uh, the winery and, and the cellar, I think we would want to, would we not? Uh, time will tell. I, I am definitely going to buy... Uh, a grape loading trailer. Luckily, the trailers that are modded into the map uh, can hold both. They can hold white and it can hold red grapes as well. So in that in instance, it is very, uh, very good. We, we only need to get the one, the one trailer. Now, what size of trailer will depend on how far we get uh, once we get full because we are already, so we're 14% of a harvester after, um, well, what was that, one row, but that's one of the, uh, well, one of the longer rows, yeah, I suppose. Um, well, I suppose we'll see how many rows we get complete when we are full up. Now, yeah, I guess we'll have to get a trailer. Hopefully, we'll get lucky and find one in the sale. That would be really nice, but we're nearly, there we go, 20% of the hopper already. Uh, I think this is going to be very good, especially if we can sell... Now, barrels and bottles don't seem all that expensive to buy them by the thousand, uh, like thousand litres. I think one barrel might hold a thousand litres of of wine. That That's what it seems, but we'll have to look at that a bit more detail uh, once we get all the harvesting done. I suppose we probably could get the, um, could get the white the white grapes underway before we start the red uh, just to get a bit of a head start on everything um, I didn't check the best time for selling but we still have to produce them so yeah there's no real rush but at the price that we can sell the white wine at even the red wine 
blimey, absolutely incredible for paying for these harvesters. Now, I did just lease them. I'm not leasing to own. I just wanted to lease them because we do have the 2,000, sorry, 200,000 to pay for the winery. And especially if I intend on getting another tractor, which could be nearly 200 some thousand pounds as well. I'm still very tempted to sell the sell the John Deere and to just run the one main tractor but we shall see I know I'll keep talking about it till it happens or till it doesn't happen or for the rest of the series who bloody knows at this point <laughs> I suppose we'll just have to wait and see anyways we are a thousand liters so and nearly halfway I think once yeah it would it, I think in the future though um, if we do stick with doing grapes I would like to have a second uh, white grape vineyard somewhere uh, nearby. Um, I don't know if I would use one of these fields or not. I suppose we could. Um, can't really destroy the crop if it's a vineyard, so that's good. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. I mean, really, we could turn that whole space into another vineyard. But yeah, we'll, time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see. We are at 50% here of a uh, of the combine after four rows so with that quick maths I think so let's say at the end of this we'll be at 60 oh careful you gotta go right in the middle of the harvester of course so that's 56 percent so let's do some quick maths here uh, that could be a hundred and then I think we could get two two full combine loads by the uh, by the looks of it we shall just have to wait and see um, but I think before anything I would like to go to the shop to collect a trailer sooner than later I'll do that before I uh, start up a uh, time-lapse now where is the John Deere would probably be the best to take to the shop but let's have a look at that before we crack on Grape tech. So these are the base game with only the one grape type, but this one here, as you can see, it does both. We even have a specific pruner for the white grape, so that is something that we'll need as well, but it is very inexpensive, so buying one of each is not a big problem. I don't think we need quite that big of a trailer. I think something like that should be fine, um, because we are just going to load them over to the uh, to the production, right? So... Perfect. So we'll go and purchase that. We'll head down to the shop to pick it up and we'll come back and uh, we'll finish up the harvest. Alright, here we are at the shop. There is our grape trailer. Fantastic. Now, as you can see, I've got the beet harvester in tow behind the John Deere, bringing the whole lot in. Now, I'm going to sell the beet harvester. It has been fantastic, but we are going to outgrow it so quickly. Even if I decide to do spuds and uh, switch over to that, or even if I decide to continue doing beets, I think we will upgrade to a much bigger beet harvester in the future. So that's why I'm, uh, I've brought this here. It's just going to sit and reduce in, in price. We're going to lose value on it if it just sits there. I also have decided that I am going to sell the 7530. Now, it's a great tractor. Really have enjoyed it. It has a, a few quirks here and there. But the reason I'm selling it isn't that it's a bad tractor. It's that there's another tractor that I would much rather use instead. I, I told myself from the beginning that I wanted to use this particular tractor, so I will. Now, as far as the John Deere is concerned, it's wonderful. If, for whatever reason in the future, we decide to uh, need something much bigger, then I might upgrade to a large John Deere tractor, because that's where they really shine, in my opinion, like a an, even a 9R, something ridiculous like that. But we shall see. Right, we need to find the trigger here, because both of them are just going to lose value, and I might as well sell the John Deere while it still holds some of that value. Exactly. I think we paid... So we paid about a £1,000 to have the Narrows on, which is fine. Uh, we did pay the extra to upgrade the engine. I think it was about 100000 100 and maybe 5000 uh, all said and done. But let's give it a repair. Let's give it a repaint. And it's at 89. I'm absolutely okay with that because that 89, nine, eight, nearly £90,000 is going to go towards 
a new tractor. As far as the harvester goes, I think, yeah, we paid, maybe we paid 30 two for it so really we're not losing much there either and I have no qualms in doing both of these selling both absolutely fine now the 119,000 is going to go straight towards a brand new tractor now this is a brand of tractor I've wanted to use for a long time and I haven't and now it is time to do so so we do have a Landini already on the farm this is a beautiful tractor but we need a new Holland, and we are not going to opt for the Heavy Duty series of the T7, because if we are going to get something that big, we might as well get a large tractor. Now, again, something like the T8 might be nice. The T9 is intense, but potentially, but maybe for a large tractor, we could look at one of the uh, 8RTs or 8RX or even the uh, 8R or 7R, or, as I said before, maybe even uh, go up to uh, like a 9 RT, that would be just mental, that, I think. But, for today, we are going to go with the T7 series. So, not the Heavy Duty series, but the size down from that. So, we do have a short wheelbase and the long wheelbase. Now, I think for, this, for the size of the farm and everything, I think we'll be fine with the short wheelbase. Again, if we were to upgrade to the long wheelbase, we might as well get a bigger tractor. Anything over 300 horsepower, I would like it to be a large tractor. So for this one to be at 225 max is fine. And I think we will max it out because I do intend on keeping this tractor around for a long time. Now, we will make a few... Conf oh, that's pretty brilliant. Wow. I, I will stick with the blue, though. Yeah, we'll definitely stick with the blue. We are going to go with our standard BKTs. We'll keep the standard for now. Uh, if we do need in the future to have narrows we do have the option so that is very good to know Let's go bkt standard fenders yes please oh we don't need the wide ones do we um no we don't need the wide ones that's fine like that uh attaches now uh, three point would be good to have not necessary but go on then we'll keep that front loader no we don't need that rim color can stay white and uh, we'll just do something a bit different do we want in the front as well yeah go on that looks fine this is the tractor i actually wanted from the start uh, i did buy the john deere because i wanted to try something a bit different because i normally don't use a john deere tractor but this is my much preferred tractor between the two so i'm sorry to all the john deere fans out there but Here's our new tractor on the farm, £174,000, so we ended up paying, I don't know, like £80,000 or something uh, to basically upgrade, and it is, in fact, one wicked upgrade. Oh yes, look at this. What an amazingly beautiful model tractor as well. This is actually the same modder that makes the uh, Landini that I have, so it is nice to have its uh, sort of compatriot there. Uh, this is the modder's name here, Bla... I really don't want to... Blauwiel? <laughs> Sorry if I've butchered that, but you're an amazing modder. Thank you so much for making these fantastic Italian tractors. Very, very pleased about that. Here we have our little grape trailer as well. We all set up. I really love the compact size. It's a big tractor and it's very beefy as far as 225 horsepower, but it's quite compact. I do like the short wheelbase. And look at that. It says 53 and it goes 53. Brilliant. The, the John Deere only maxed out at 46, even with nothing attached. Very frustrating. But now look at this. We are flying down these Italian roads. I am very excited about this. Oh, I feel so much better. I know that John Deere was on, on my, you know, my mind as far as do I sell it, do I not? Do I sell it, do I not? But I'm very, I'm already so thrilled that I sold it. Not because it's a John Deere, just because this is so much better. <laughs> right, okay, we're nearly back at the farm. We'll see you when we get there. All right, I'm just going to park it here because I'm not too certain if we'll be at that end or this end when the harvester is done. Uh, but we are all ready to crack on with it. Now, we've got these ones. You can see there are no grapes, but here there are. So this is where we have to start. And we might as well just crack on right with it. We are back at the harvest. At least now we have a trailer ready to unload into and we'll crack on with it.
Right, we have another 3,100 litres from the harvester that we can put into the trailer. Now, I know that it's not... Um, oh, hello. Oh, blimey. There we go. I know that it will overfill uh, because the trailer actually only holds 6,000 litres. So, yes, we could have got a bigger trailer, but it's not a big problem because all we have to do is empty it and come back and finish the harvest. So we'll just fill it up as much as we can. Now I will take this back over here. I think there was a very small bit on the second last row, this one here. Uh, for a small bit of the time lapse, I did try and go in first person. It did not work at all. And oh wow, did we really just finish perfectly? Oh, that is amazing. Can I reverse out of here? Nice. Okay, well, might as well very quickly finish this final row, because it is literally uh, the last one. Um, oh, hello. Yeah, I did <laughs> I did try and go in first person a bit during the time lapse, but it didn't really work. I suppose if I was very careful with it, but it, I just kept hitting the side, unfortunately. Oh, now it's working. Hmm. Yeah, it's just there's nowhere to really line it up. I mean, you can kind of line it up to the uh, sort of the uh, grey thing there under the lever but um, it does work much better in third person and wow what a machine I, I'm really pleased that we got the opportunity to use this again but for the grape harvest so the not not the white but the red grapes we will be using a different harvester so I'm very excited about that as well uh, I think what I might do is just drive this straight up to the winery myself, and then we'll come back at the trailer. But this is our opportunity where we can actually... Oh, where am I going? Oh, I've gone the wrong, very wrong way here. Go around the back. Yes, I'm going to purchase the winery and uh, start unloading in some white grapes because we're going to make some wine. Very excited about this. So, first thing we need to do is, well, we'll shut the engine off on there because we don't want to rack up the hours. I don't mind keeping it until we have the other one. I think uh, having them side by side, I would like to compare them. But first thing we need to do is buy the winery for £200,000. So, we've got red wine barrel and white wine barrel. So, we've got grapes, white grapes, empty wine barrels, red wine barrel, white wine barrel and scarto di protezione uva, which, if I'm not mistaken, actually means, uh, like, waste um, of the grape production. So it's like, uh, I don't know what that can be used for, if anything at all, but um, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. So now we can drop in the white grapes, and I think before we harvest the red grapes, I would like to purchase uh, some barrels for this production. I'm going to try and calculate how many we need. Can we lower that down? Yeah, there we go. So we'll just put them directly from the harvester into there, if we can, without hitting... Oh, oh my. Okay. There we go. We've got them all in. So we'll just tuck this out of the way for the time being. Let's put that there. Find our lovely new New Holland T7. We'll make our way to the winery as well. Oh, this tractor is just so much better. It's so much more responsive. It's uh, it, it goes as as fast as it says it goes. Uh, it's if I mean it literally does have more power. But I think even if we hadn't upgraded fully, it would have had more power than the 209 horsepower uh, John Deere. But that's neither here nor there. It doesn't matter anymore because we no longer have it. Right, we'll get that in unload our grapes into our production there we go really really nice that fantastic let's have a look at the production as you can see we've got 5,000 is that it oh no not quite now we've got 6,486 really amazing oh that's so exciting and it shows how much we'll get for the excess as well four here to the six so that is all right now before as i say i think before we do the red grape production i am going to head down to the shop 
to collect some barrels so that we can start this production while we're harvesting our red grapes. So I will go fetch our trailer. We have our flatbed at the farm. We'll go and get that and we'll see you at the shop. All right, we're at the shop now. We'll just get ourselves spun round. We will have to get the uh, forklift for this delivery. Uh, we are going to get approximately 4,000 uh, liters of barrels, which I imagine would be four barrels. Oh wow, they take up lots of space in the menu. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, so yeah, appro that's approximate. We might need more when we harvest the red grapes, but for now at least we know approximately the amount is, is right. I think it's a bit less than that, but that's absolutely fine because uh, both types of grapes go into the same uh, production. So that is perfect. Right, we'll see if we can get two at once. Not not to stack them, just to uh, just to get two. Let's see if this works. Ah, wonderful. I mean, you probably could whoop, probably could stack them, but this is absolutely fine like this. Oh, I'm so excited about this! So excited that it's all coming together now. We've got piglets. We've got white grapes. We'll soon have red grapes. I've overshot the side there. Blimey. And pretty soon we're going to have some wine in a barrel as well. And then we'll have wine in bottles and that we can sell. Oh, that rhymed. I do a lot of unintentional rhyming on these, uh, on my farming sim videos. I'm like a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> right, okay, that's enough poetry and rhyming for the time being. What we will do now is we'll get this final... Oh, hello. Hello, hello. What's happening? Same thing happened with the uh, the, the barrel. Oh, uh, the bales. These are barrels. The bales. Don't know what that was, but nevertheless, we have our 4,000 litres all set up. Now, I say we could probably buy more now, uh, but I think we'll we'll just wait to see exactly how many we'll need uh, when we do the other harvest itself. There we go. All strapped in, ready to go, and we'll see you at the winery. All right, we've got our 4,000 litres of barrels, and they should start to unload right here. Fantastic. So we'll go into the production menu here. And as you can see, white wine has produced. It's already underway. Look at that. It's going so quickly. We might have a, uh, a barrel sooner than later. And then, yeah, for this, I don't know what to do. Maybe we can sell it. Oh, we can do. Nice. Ah, we can bring it to the biogas plant, eh? Hmm. Well, I don't know if we will uh, do anything like that. This here is... There must be uh, olive waste. Uh, when you make olives, oil, oil or something, there must be a, a waste thing. Corn flour. Interesting. Right, well, maybe we'll make some corn flour. Because, well. I mean, it really... And look, oh, we can make pasta as well? Oh, wow. Okay, well, we've got lots to look into, but the focus is clearly wine and pigs. That is really what our main focus is for certain. So, now that we've got that sorted, uh, I think we'll be ready to do some grape harvesting as well. The red variety. All right, well, as excited as I am to crack on with the grape harvest and to see how the white wine barrels come out, we will have to save that for the next episode. This one has been fairly action-packed, getting everything set up uh, as far as the, uh, the winery here goes and getting the uh, barrels in and everything, and I believe they will spawn over there. So hopefully we'll have some uh, by the time we... Uh, finish the red wine harvest and then we can get even more wine started turn it into bottles and ah oh, it's just all very very exciting i'm very pleased that i leased 
the harvester though and not bought it because I think if we bought both and then the winery we'd have no money left so <laughs> it is for the best that we uh, that we lease this one out so very pleased about that uh, thank you so much for watching I had a load of fun with this first wine harvest or grape harvest I suppose we haven't made the wine just yet but um, yeah this will do it for this episode so I really do hope you are enjoying the series I am very much so enjoying making it. I'm very pleased that I made that swap for the New Holland. Amazing tractor, really fantastic. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you hate it or love it, please do let me know. Uh, if you did like the video though, cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel. And please subscribe. So until the next one, please do take care and bye for now.